come in and take a look at the dash. We got the we we started yesterday. We put the dash in there. Um, we did not go any further than the video showed, other than Jolene tacked it in the in the in the car. Well, I held it, and that's what had to happen. I need another hand to do that, or I you know I could have you know built something to hold it up and try to get in there and do that. But uh, it was just as easy for me to hold it, let her tack it. Now we've got it sort of in place, sort of in place. It's not done nowhere near done yet or fitting where we want it to fit. But if you come over here, Jolene, you'll see on the top, I'll go on the other side, see on the top how it's not fitting yet. You can see right along here how it's not fitting yet, you know. I didn't, this is the original dash, I didn't even cut there yet, but I didn't want to cut too much before I see what's going on. I want to see how it's fitting on, you know, the side of the doors, how far it's over, how far it's on that side. I want to see the shape, how it has to be on either side. There's one thing that you have to remember, and, and, and the reason I know this is because I've done it before. When you open the door, and you put a dash in a car, and you open the door, you have to make sure that you have enough room for your interior. If you know what I'm trying to tell you. When you open your door, and your dash is stuck out on the side, I'll come, I'll come through this side and show you. I'm getting good at banging my head. I banged my head a couple times this morning. As I open the, da the door, you have the side of the dash right here. Um, there's a big big gap there. Um, we would cap that and weld a piece of metal on that. We cannot weld it to the door. But anyways, as we're doing that, you can see how it's close to fitting inside there. We want to fit it inside the post. We don't want it on the inside, but we're pretty close there. It's looking pretty good. But you would never want to cap that and not have enough room for your interior. Yes, you might be able to shut your door. That's fine. But you still have to leave that room for the, for the interior. You have to, I've made that mistake before. So when I come in there, I will probably angle the dash towards the inside of the cabin a little tiny bit, just to give it that room that I think it needs for the interior. Also, as we were talking about me and Jolene, it's a great idea as we're putting this dash in this car, how, how far the customizing can continue when the door goes up against the dash like this, and you see how you could build something across here that would match that line there on the dash across the top of your door. I mean, you could take it down like this and metal all this and just do a little piece of interior. There's so many things that can carry on from doing one thing, it can carry on to more. Um, and that's what's fun. That, that is what's fun, thinking about what you can do and what you can't do. But as I have the dash in here now, it's just tacked in there. As I have the dash in there, I'm able to look and see where I want it, and I'm, I'm going to be able to scribe it to fit. Um, on the corner, I'm going to get out of the car for a second. You do whatever you like there. I'm going to get out of the car for a second. I'm going to show you something. As, as we stuck this dash in here, it's nice and tight up here. You could, you could tack it. No problem at all. But when it comes to the corners, we're off there a quarter of an inch. So what Jolene did, grabbed a coat hanger, and we tacked that there like that. That's where that stuff comes in and makes it quick, you know, is you get in there and try to keep tacking it, trying to build it over, trying to build it over, trying to build it over. No, grab a coat hanger, put a little bit of material there, and stick it together. And that's the process where you get faster. That's when you get faster. You think of that stuff, and you grab it, and you use it. And that's what we do. I would never, you know, try to build that up and put a piece on it and try to hold it. But now, as the point, we got the dash. We've got it in there, sitting there. It's looking pretty nice. I want to scribe it to where it's supposed to sit. And I can see the distance where, it, where it, what it's away. You can see the distance. See the, there's a bolt right here, a bolt hole right there where the dash went in, where it bolted in. So I'm about an inch. I like to guess a lot. And the reason I like to guess a lot is because I like that freedom of taking that distance there and, and making that distance over there away from this. If you, if you know what I'm trying to say, I'm, I'm allowed to do that in my own brain. And it feels good to do that sometimes and then getting the measuring tape out and going over there and it telling you what it is and trying to get it right, trying to figure out the... Sometimes it's just nice to guess. So as I'm doing this, uh, I'm going to guess. I'm going to... Well, I'm not going to guess, but I'm going to scribe it to this piece right here. This is where the dash set right in along here. This is a faker here. That's a faker because that's where the vent is. That's a faker. But there's where the dash is. And it's got a little kick out right there. So when we go to put the dash in... When I scribe that, it's not going to fit real nice because that little kicker right there is going to hold it out a little bit. And I'll have to come in and take a little bit out of that, a little bit more out of that piece to make it fly, slide in where it's supposed to, if you can see that. So right now, I'm just going to scribe it 
to the dash. I'm going to take a marker, scribe it, and then I'm going to take it out, and I'm going to cut it off, and then I'm going to try it again. No more, no less. But as I see that distance there, I'm thinking of a ruler. You see that distance from, I'm going to go on the other side, or maybe I'll go on the other side if you want. As I see that distance, see that ruler there? I stick that ruler in there. See that, that piece right there is where the dash has got to go up to, that piece where I'm poking right there. As I see that distance, as I put that ruler on there, that would hit that, that bolt hole right, or that bolt where the dash is supposed to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this ruler and I'm going to scribe it along there. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to take this ruler and I'm going to scribe it along the dash to try to get it to fit to make it look right. And that's pretty well That's just making it the same all the way along. That's all. You know what I'm trying to tell you? And I've looked at the dash, and I see I've got enough for it to come in, so it's not going to hurt me any. It's not going to hurt any. So I'm just scribing a line across there. And I'm just taking a look at it to see if it's the same distance from here to that line, from this line to that line. I'm just taking a look at it to see if it's the same or not. It looks pretty, pretty close to me. So what I'm looking at, I'm looking at, see if this distance here is the same to that line as that distance there is to that line. And it looks pretty good to me, so I'm just going to come over to the other side. I'm going to scribe it again. Also, you could put the dash in this car the way it is right now. You could bob that up and put that in there and put that garnish over and over top of that. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. But I'm thinking that I'd like to get it fitting it just a little bit better because we can. I'd like to get it fit a little bit better just because we can. Or the opportunity is there. How's that? The opportunity is, is there to make it fit better. And I'm going for it. Why not? You know, why not? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it fitted best I can. I'm going to use these self-tappers to hold it down. I'm going to drill my own hole real quick and hold it down. It still wants to fold down, so we'll probably tack it again maybe, or I'll get something to hold it. But as I get doing this, I want to come in and look at, this is what I want to look at now. That's going to come in, this ruler is wider than that hole right, that right there. That does not bother me because that's going to hold the dash up now. So when I take it in, when that goes against there, it'll hold the dash up from falling in because it's out a little bit because it needs to be shaved in. But I'd rather get the top fitting first and get it up there and get it screwed in and let it hold against it. And then when it's up there, then I'll come down with the grinder and start trimming on the sides to make it go where I want it to go. I don't, I don't want to take it in and out and doing that because I'd rather have it fitting up here and then I can open the door and know exactly where it goes. There's no guessing then once I get it in there. So I'm going to go over the other side and just see where this point is. Just, just check it out for shits and giggles. That's all I'm doing. Just going over and checking that out. Everything you're doing should be done with observation. And uh, you are the leader because you're the, you know what you're looking for or what you're not looking for. You know, what I'm looking for is to see, now, this piece is almost exactly the same on this side. When I go to screw the dash, it's going to sit there, and it's not going to be able to sit there because it would, in fact, or it would be wrong with the interior would not fit if I left that out that far and capped that. So we have to pay attention to that. You know, there's still lots to do. If you were thinking about, like I said before, running it to the door, how much you could do. You could almost get, do your own interior if you had a little piece. You know, you could wrap a piece of board or something and, and make the rest metal if you're not an interior guy. I'm not an interior guy, but that's what could happen. As I have this dash put in here, I'm going to cut this dash out of it now. As I have this dash in here, we've tacked it up here, or Jolene tacked it up here, and we have it tacked here in the corner. Very hard to get at with a grinder. Um, when I tacked it on there, I knew that I'd have to have something else take it off, and I'll just blow it off with the plasma cutter, just blow that little piece off. But when you're tacking stuff on your car, 
Try to make sure that you're, if you're taking it in and out, try to make sure that you're tacking it in places that you can get it back off. And the reason I'm saying that is because I've done it. <laughs> I've tacked things on in, like in the wrong spot and not been able to get it off. I've been there. And uh, just trying to relay what I've learned. Also, I feel, I feel like this is a good place to come watch YouTube because this is free information because I'm just, it's free information. Uh, why I do it uh, does not matter, I guess. I do it because my brain tells me to. <laughs> and that's the only reason I ever do anything. My brain tells me to do it, so that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. My brain tells me to do it. So when I, when I uh, knock the edges off here, the dash is sort of going to get limp and lean down in there. So Oh, got I need to ground it to the dash, maybe. Over your side, sweetheart. Put my glasses on. <laughs> All right, that's it for that. I'm just going to take a grinder and knock them off. They're easy to knock off. Got the sniffles. You ever do this playing hockey? Shoot, sn shoot snot rockets. <laughs> you ever do that playing hockey? You used to do that all the time. Get rid of the nostrils. Get rid of the dirt. <laughs> what? That's a snot rocket, baby. She didn't like that. She snarled her nose. She didn't like that. But oh, look at this now, would you? That's what we're gonna do from now on. That people send us stuff and trying to help us out. We'll write your name on it. Then we know exactly who you are. Thanks a lot, Todd Bennett. Thanks a lot. We'll write our name on everything that someone has given us and make sure that they get the credit deserved. Have to give credit for the question yesterday of the answers that we got on the YouTube station. Wow. I think Jolene's hit, you know, she, she, we both learned something. How's that? We both learned something this week or yesterday. Just listen to all the ideas and thoughts and all that sort of stuff. Want to thank everybody for sending in their thoughts, appreciate it very much. Um, yeah. Here we go. I want the old zip cut, what I want this time. Now, I'm going to have to try to hold the dash and try to cut it out at the same time. And you're going to watch me struggle, but that's what I do. <laughs> She'll come, baby. She'll come. Let her down easy. Let her down easy. Now, I'm just gonna leave that like that. Leave that for a second. I think that'll stay. Till I open the door. <laughs> Are you seeing anything like that in your life, huh? Oh well, that's what has to happen. That's what has to happen. As we've got it out, I knew that was sort of going to happen. I'm going to set it right here. 
I think I'm going to cut it right there. Come take a look for a second. It's kind of nice, a good, a good feeling. This is a good feeling. See, see how the line um, on the top here, see if I continue this line here. If I continue that line. Take a look at that line there and see where it ends up on the key, if you know what I'm trying to say. Like the center of the dash is where I've got a line is, you know, pretty close to the center of the key, which is nice. You know, it's good, hey? So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that top off. Hopefully, I can get it in there and hold it myself, have this ready. Have that ready with a self-tapper. My lovely assistant has got the camera. Self-tapper in there. Keep my gloves on for, for cutting. And then I'll, whatever. So I'm going to cut this off. I have a bench, probably. I should, probably, but. We feel better already just having a straight line in there. It's also, we have a little kick out there, so we know it's not going to fit perfectly because there's still a little kick out. And we'll get that, we'll have to put it in once and mark it. And then we'll grind it back. So it will not fit tight at first because there's still a kick out that we have to allow for. Anytime you build something and when you're doing gaps and stuff like that, make sure, like when you're welding things up and you're, and you're making things, make sure that you leave room for the stuff that is beside it or near it or what's going to cover it. You know, if you're making gaps and stuff, make sure you leave enough room for filler and, and primer and that sort of stuff. That's when you start having problems, when you start making, you start building your stuff precision and really close and tight you'll build a chipper. And what that means is you'll, everything will chip after a while because you'll be hitting, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. Um, you try, to leave, try to leave space for interior, fill, primer, um, paint, all that sort of stuff. And I know, I know, like, I know that everybody wants them fit and perfect, but there is you know, a certain allowance for certain things. I want to explain something. When, when I, I scribe this off, I used a black marker. Now, if I cut on this side, that means when I'm cutting on this side of the black marker, that means I'm cutting where the ruler was. If I cut where the black line is, that means I'm taking another eighth of an inch and I'm cutting where the marker wasn't. If I cut on this side of the black marker, that means I will cut, be cutting a quarter inch longer than what I marked for, if that makes sense. So when you mark something, make sure, or try to think about which part of, what side of the line you're supposed to be cutting on. It will make a difference <laughs> by a quarter of an inch, probably. And as we get this going in here, and there's nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong with making a few, a few boo-boos, and I'll say why. 
Because you learn something. <laughs> because you learn something. Ah. You learn something, man. Now, what I'm learning on this bad boy right this present second is my life. Just got to take a minute and see where it's hitting and what's going on. What, what, what is my issue? Hmm. I have a black marker there somewhere, baby. Is there any chance of you getting that? Should be right there on the ground, maybe. Well, you can see right here. Come on in, baby. Or just come on the front here. You can see. On, on this dash, you can see over here, it's hitting right on this corner and that little side right there. That's where it's hitting. It's not letting me go on there. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to cut that back. I'm going to cut that back so I can get in there. I've got to cut either corner off that and get that in there. And you can see where i got to cut it back to. See where it's round there like that? Where, look, where it's round on this side. I cannot get that dash to lay flat if I do not get enough cut off. So I actually have to mark it back to where it's flat. And where it's flat is back there. Where it's flat, you know, if you know what I'm saying. This has still got a radius in it. I cannot expect this metal here to lay flat if I got this end of it on a radius. I have to lay this on a flat and that has to be on a flat. So that means I have to go back about here somewhere and cut that off. Wherever the flat starts. Back about here somewhere, cut that off. Then, I see a little bit more, but I got a little bit marked off each side there. I'm going to pull it back out, and I'm going to go for it again. What I'm going to do is... So yesterday of the dash was the beginning. That was the beginning to get it set in there and get it tacked so you could see what was going on, so you could, so you could scry, but that was the beginning. Now today is where I'm going to get it fitting. Get it fitting. This is where I'm guessing that the flat starts so I can get this laid down flat. This is where it turns up in the window. So when I was trying to put this in, it would not lay down flat because right here was the roundness of the window and it was coming up on the radius. So I cannot expect this to lay flat if this is on the radius. All I'm doing is chiseling away little by little. Just chiseling away little by little. See if I can get her to see if I can get her to, you know, lay down nice. And that's the object of the game, to get it fitting the best that you can. You uh pass me something, I'll put it up in there. Here, hold the door for a second. I don't like but this is starting to lay down flat obviously and there's the two cutouts that I was talking about so as soon as I get them out laid them in there I think we're, we're golden I think we're golden um yeah I think we're golden I think we're golden yeah so there's two places where the cutouts are and I'm going to describe them right now I'm 
gonna, yeah. And then it should sit in there nicely. I see something I wanna cut. Okay. I got it. Nope, just leave that there, please. I'm gonna grab the grinder. <laughs> Thanks, sweetheart. I'm not bending anything. Up. I have a piece of metal I wanna snip. <laughs> As I do this car, as I do this car, some people ask if I'm going to sandblast. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, I got to get out. I'm not going to get out, but I have to get out to get that. But am I going to sandblast? And I will, but I will only sandblast what it needs. I will not go crazy and waste my material. You know, I will sandblast all inside the doors, that sort of stuff, up around there a little bit. Uh, that's what I'll do um, but I like to get it I like to build it first and then sandblast it I don't like sandblasting something that I'm not going to fix I would never sandblast the bottom of the door because I know it needs to be fixed you know it just doesn't make sense to me sometimes so and it doesn't have to Now I'm hoping, got my fingers crossed, that it's going to fit. That's what I had. Got my fingers crossed, it's going to fit. And if it doesn't, I'll pull it back down and do it again. Look at that. Now we're talking. What's holding me there? I get a little bit on that side. All right, just a little bit more on this side. I see just a little smidgen. Hoping. Uh, I need a little bit. Oh, it's hitting right there, isn't it? Yeah, I need a little bit more off that right there. It's hitting. That's not stopping me at all, I don't think. Right there, and it's fitting pretty t damn tight, you ask me. I think actually, to be honest with you, like I like it. No, nope, I'm gonna zip it on right there. I like it. I like it. I got a drill gun right here. I'm not gonna take it off for that. Um, for an eighth, not uh, not what I'm looking for. Ah! That's called trying to hold the dash and trying to hold the screw gun at the same time. Ah, can't get my hand on the outside of the car, if you know what I'm trying to say. You know, nope, all right. <laughs> Make me sweat. Make me sweat. We'll get her. My name ain't bad yet. We gotta turn around and go the other way. Should have in the forward direction, shouldn't I, baby? <laughs> this is the stuff that get you. This is the stuff that make you make you get ugly. This is stuff right here. But I'm not gonna get ugly. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do it here in a second. Keep with it. <laughs> I might get ugly. I might get ugly. Can't get out of the window. Huh? No, I'm gonna hold up. All right. 
Um, <laughs> uh, this roof filler gets ugly. This roof filler gets ugly. And he can't hold the damn thing. And he wants it on there. That's where it's supposed to be, is it? Can't get my arm, you know what I mean? Sure. Had the welder turn the welder on, I can zap it. You got it? I think you got it, do you? I'll on the end there. On there. Now, I'm happy with that, and I'll tell you why. I'm going in the back end. That was a hard one. I couldn't get my arm out the window and up. <laughs> I couldn't take my arm off and put it back on. Anyways, as we have this in here, um, there's a little bit there I can move that way or that way. Beautiful. That will screw on there. We have the hole. I might be able to bring that up a little bit higher. Probably going to bring it up a little bit higher, baby. As you come in here and take a look, we probably got it good enough anyways. As you can see, it actually is actually. When the garnish molding is a screw right there, so the garnish molding is going to cover half and half, so that garnish molding is going to run right on top of that dash. I'm fine with that. We got probably an eighth that we could go in a little bit further if I just pull that up a little bit. But as I have this, we're going to take a look. As I have this in here, now what I'm going to look at, ah, cords and cords and cords make for frustration sometimes. As I have the dash in here, now what I'm looking at, is the top of the dash is hitting the door now because it's in there further because a different measurement and the measurement come from the top we've, we've taken it in some more so the measurement has changed on this side it's hitting the, the, the door too but what I'm looking for is the door is the dash hitting the doors in the same place that's what I'm looking for I want the dash to hit the doors in the same place and that's another thing that what you're looking for, you know. Um, you would never want that down this far or up there and this one down a little bit. You want both the same. And that's exactly where that, that looks good now. We're exactly right there. So, as I open the door, as I open the door, I'm touching there and I'm hitting on the door here. So, that's where I come in with my zip cut and I start cutting lines and seeing if I can get it to... I don't want to cut that down there yet because that's holding the dash up. It's only stuck on one... Uh, self tap right in the middle. If I cut that off, then the dash is going to swing right in. I don't want that right now. What I want to do is probably is to get the door so I can shut it. And that's just a matter of trimming some off. So I'm going to trim that off. Do we want to go further than this in the video? Do we want to keep on going? How many minutes we got in there? 33, 33 minutes. What I'm going to do is is I'm going to trim this back a little bit, and then I'll put a, a make a pattern for it. Okay, and then we'll do that. Now, what I'm going to do here right now is, is I'm just going to, I, almost, I have to shut the door. <laughs> I have to scribe it with my marker. Shut the door and just see where it's hitting. If you come in here, you can see it's hitting on the top of the door, just like over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here and cut this back, mark it back some. Yeah, mark it back. And then come all the way down. All right, I'm going to and cut that off. Just want to hold that door for a second there, baby. Please and thank you.
Okay, shut that on the cord. There we go. Now we're talking. See, now we got a nice gap in between the door. We might even want to bring it a little bit further because you know just as well as I do, a piece of interior and foam and stuff. <laughs> There's all the difference in the world once you put that on there and put a piece of metal on there. And just remember, when you weld that piece of metal on there, you weld that all down that edge, then you've got to fill it. So you've got to leave room for fill. You've got to leave room for primer, paint. So to be honest with you, like there should be a good, you know, half inch or, you know, three quarters of an inch of a gap in between your door and your dash. Or that's what I'm thinking anyways. Just, you know, just doing this right now, I'm thinking about the interior. Um, as I have that on there, as you see that there, this is what I would do. This is what I'll do next. Hmm. Take this off. This is going to be Jolene's thing. Now I've got a piece of paper here. If I take that piece of paper and I run it in there like that, I go in further than I have to. Sorry. I'm going to go in further than I have to so I know it fits. So I know it fits. Then I crease it with my fingers like Jolene said on the, on the wheel thing. This metal sharp so I'll be able to tell. Let's cut a piece out real quick just for shits and giggles. Uh, pair of scissors. Come over and look at this for a second. I had a friend in that wanted to learn. I'm going to talk as I, cut, as I work. I had a friend in that wanted to learn about welding and, and that stuff. He's going to college right now to be a kind of sign, computer science. That means to me that you'd probably be very smart. Um, but he come here on his off time, not getting paid, just to come and learn for the information. And I, how I feel about that is that he will go a long ways in life because he has the will to learn something for free. This YouTube station is for free. And I really feel like people in, like in the world, if you know, there's not much out there that can t will teach you something or show you something or even show you how I do it so you can do it your way. You don't have to do it my way. This is, I'm showing my way. Piece of metal, cut a, you know, an eight out of it. He took two cans, one was bigger, one was smaller. Uh, he took a two-inch strip and he butt welded them all together. And I tried to show him how, you know, how to lay the metal on there so he can grind all the weld off. Um, he had the practice of welding it, um, that sort of stuff. Now that you look at that, I'm keeping this. And what I'm going to do now is he's got this all welded up. Now I'm going to make a V, and I'm going to do the exact same thing he done. I'm going to draw the V out. I'm going to put a piece of two inch in it, and I'm going to make the V, and then I'm going to set this eight down inside that V. I can picture it. I'm going to set the V, put the eight in, just like Henry Ford did, and then I'm going to make one of those uh, hanging racks that I've showed you how to make for free, <laughs> and I'm going to hang this V8 symbol up in the air, and I'll be just as proud of that, and he'll be proud of that just as, as anybody. If they walk in and see that, wow, a nice old sign you made there, you know? How gratifying something so easy to make could gratify somebody, you know? Um, put a little V around that, paint it two different colors. I've actually got one I've made outside on the grid. It's called uh, V8, Green Golden V8 Hot Rods. I made that a long time ago, and uh, they're fun, and that's what you can do when you learn this process, is make things. And it does not have to be, it does not have to be a hot rod. I've seen uh, one of my friends on uh, Facebook, um, Chuck Barkhouse, um, He's gonna do a bicycle. Or he was thinking about doing a bicycle. That's awesome, you know what I mean? Why, why, why not? How much fun that would be to take your own brain, make your own thing, and that's the way it rolls. And as I talk about that, and I find a piece of metal, and I talk about that, it's funny, you know, as, as we do these cars here, we do them fairly quickly, and we move along, and uh, we get it done. And the reason that being for, 
is because if that's where we put our energy. That's where we put all our, all our time. That's a nice, <laughs> yeah, a nice piece of land. That's where we put our time. If you can understand that, um, if we get, we have, you know, we've built a lot of cars the last little while, but we have put all our energy there and our thought. So what that means is, is that I do not think about what's going on anywhere else. I think about what I'm doing. And if people, or if you are listening, you can imagine if you spent all your energy thinking about what you wanted to think about, instead of thinking about something or something or something else that bothers you. If you thought about something that interested you, it probably would happen because that's what you're thinking about. It probably would happen because that's what you're thinking about. That makes sense. So when we're building these cars, um, it should tell everybody on the YouTube station, this is what we think about. And this is what we do. She has shears anywhere? Just the stand-up ones? I must have hit them. Oh, I must have hit them. We're in that room, though. I wasted my time, if I spent my time thinking about something else, how would I do what I do? <laughs> you know, how would I get this done? So, as it goes with Jolene's car, uh, for, in order for me to, me to build that car for her, that's what I had to spend my time thinking about. I would not be able to build it any other way if I did not take my time and spend it building, thinking about the car. Same as putting the dash in it. I cannot spend my time thinking about somebody else or somewhere else or some other thing. I cannot put that dash in I'm spending my time there. I have to take my time and spend it there. And what I'm telling anybody in the world is, this is what I like to, like to do. This is what makes me happy. So it makes much sense to spend the time on yourself. <laughs> Do something on yourself, yourself. <laughs> sounds selfish. It does sound selfish, but you are the only person that can make yourself happy. You are the only person. And if you were happy, everybody's happy around you. I know that's a lot, but <laughs> that's how I feel. And this, this stuff that we're doing is freedom. Like it's a freedom of doing what you want, and, that, and you, if you practice that, that's what you'll want. Only what you want. Kind of a hard piece to cut with this, but... I get it. Yeah, I'll take that over there, model line a little bit. I'll take it and bang it, lay it down, get that with a hammer, straighten that out. Buzz that off a little bit. Do the auto body thing, you know, straighten it out. So. I do not like to hit my metal a whole bunch. You know what I'm trying to say? I like trying not to get dents in it. You know, just, I'm just tapping the edge. Before, you know, before I try to make that look nice, why did I not try it on? See the vents. So you don't know exactly where to trim it. So as I put that in there, I don't know if I'm going to get that in there past that. That piece of paper went in a little further than I had to. 
how about we do that? Let's put that on there and retrace it. And I'm gonna, I what I did is I shoved the paper all the way through. I got the right read, it's just that I can't shove this metal all the way through as far as I shove the paper, if you understand. And I'm just gonna make it fit the other way. Right? So this is how I'm going to do it this time. Good, uh, good thing I didn't waste my time, eh? Trying to make it fit when it didn't. <laughs> so as I shove that in there, I've got a gap right there. So I should probably notch this off a little bit so I can get in there a little bit further. I might leave. See, the, this here is hitting the dash or hitting the a, for a pillar. So as it hits the A pillar, I'm going to leave it there because it holds the dash up nice. So I'll just cut a little bit piece out of that as I put it in there to make it fit a little better. And where is it? Right there. Just so it goes in a little further. And uh, I can make it a nice move there. life when I do this stuff is because I would like to see everybody happy. That's all. It really means sharing sharing my 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 experiences have been many and I've learned from them all. And the happy you are everybody all day. Okay, I'm just going to weed whack that off. I'm going to weed whack it off with the zip cut this time. And it's right there. Okay. And what I appreciate is the thought, because obviously we could buy one, but I appreciate the thought. Now we put that in there like that. Sit in there like that. And then we've got the end of our dash. Yeah, we got a piece of tape. I tape it there instead of welding. Now that's how I would cap the end of the dash like that. We're not done yet. We're not nowhere near done yet. But I mean, that's the start of it. We have to still make sure of this. And uh, thanks for watching the YouTube videos. Um, we only do them because our brain tells us to do them. And uh, why not? And I really feel like anybody that wants to watch them. I think that you're a smart person because you are gaining knowledge for nothing. And you're able to sit there and spend your time watching us. And, uh, you know, I hope, I hope you catch something. If you don't catch something, well, 
Maybe next time. That's how it goes, you know. Not, not every time, but maybe next time. And as I tape this on here, I want to wish everybody a happy new year. I want to thank everybody that buys Hilt gear. It means something to me. It does. It means something to me. Hilt gear means something to me. It means if you're not doing something good, what are you doing? That's what it means to me. I'm just going to tape that on there just so we both can enjoy what it looks like without us welding it. And Jolene knows how to weld that without working the dash. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Jolene knows how to weld that on there without working the dash. There you go. Now I suggest everybody tape their cars together because there's less body fill. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Happy New Year, everybody. Thanks for buying the Hilt gear. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. That's what the dash is going to look like inside the car. It looks very appealing to me. I think that the car was, uh, was waiting for us to do this. You know, that's what I think the cars were waiting for. Um, thanks very much for watching. And uh, that's how we put a Nosemobile dash in a 40 Plymouth. Yeah. 2021 will be will be what you make of it. You know, I think I said it before, it's gonna be like a marriage. It's gonna be because you love her, not because you think things are gonna change, it's because you love her. And 2021 is gonna be that. We are going to have to make it what it's going to be. And if you take your brain to the places what make you happy and do the things that make you happy, you will not even know 2021 existed or 2020 existed. Have a good one, everybody.